Hey Dinosaurs, I'm Dan and let's enter the basement dino dungeon and guess what? We have a super exciting video today. We are going to unbox the new wave of Takara Tomi Jurassic World action figures and I will show you the equivalent from Mattel as well as some new Cam Cretaceous dinosaurs, okay? So this is the basement dino dungeon. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, okay? So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin. So let me do a quick introduction. Basically, this set right here is actually the new wave. Wave 3. This is wave number 1 all the way back in like 2018, 2019. And this was the second wave produced by Takara Tomi. This was just released like last week, alright? So I think it's time for us to open up one of these. The first one, let's open. Um, the Stegosaurus, you can see it has two sides to it when it comes to the packaging, so it looks really beautiful. I'm gonna use a box cutter, so please be really, really careful if you're using this at home on your own, okay? So let's take this out. Does it come with a collector's card? Um, nope, it comes with a little leaflet that doesn't say much about this dinosaur. So of course, Stegosaurus is known as, you know, the roof lizard. So let's open this up and have a look. Okay, this figure right here is definitely based on the Action Attack Stegosaurus. So let me retrieve um, the Action Attack Stegosaurus right over here, okay? I'll place this right over here. And do you guys know that there is a new Stegosaurus which was just released like, you know, two weeks back, in a couple of weeks back. This is the Mega Destroyer um, Stegosaurus. So let me just assemble this to show you guys how it actually works, okay? It's it's very, very amazing. So you can actually place this harness, you know, um, over the tail, over the Thagomizer like this, okay? So there you go. This is the new Mega Destroyer Stegosaurus. You can see it has um like a button right over here. So once you press it, how do you press it? Okay, it's right over here. So it actually moves. And this was the Action Attack Stegosaurus. Of course, this is a new one from Takara Tomi. It looks pretty amazing. You know, there's articulation on the tail. You can't move um, the head, the legs as well. But overall, this is a fantastic figure. I'll place this right over here. Okay, next up, let's open up the Sinoceratops. This is definitely based on um, the Cam Cretaceous Sinoceratops. So there are two sides to it when it comes to the packaging. Looks really beautiful. This is the entire collection from Sakara Tomi. So let's open this up. You know, once again, I'm using the box cut cutter. Please be really careful. I mean, if you take a close look at my fingers and my hands, you can actually find, you know, some scratches here and there because I'm always very careless when it comes to like opening figures like this. So let's get this out. I'll place a plastic um, bag right into the box. And uh, let's have a look at this beautiful um, Sinoceratops. Wow, it looks pretty amazing. You can actually move the head so you can rotate it. The legs can't be moved, but there's articulation on the tail as well. Looks really nice. Um, Sinoceratops is known as the Chinese horned face. A Ceratops discovered in China, I suppose. And this is the counterpart. So you can see the colors looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. This is a Soundstrike Sinoceratops, which was released not too long ago, I think a couple of months back. Okay, next up, let's take a look at um this Amagosaurus right over here. Okay, let's open this up um, using the box cutter. So two sides to it, looks really amazing. I, oh, oh my goodness, there are actually three different sides. One, two, and three. So let's open this up. Okay, let's get the Amagosaurus out from the box and place the bag right in. And let's take a look at it, this beautiful sauropod. Amagasaurus is actually known as the Amagras lizard. I think it was discovered in Argentina. I can't remember. So if you guys know, please comment down below. So let's take a look at this. You can see the huge neural spine bones right over here. Beautiful. I think this side is supposed to be pointing upwards. So there are two points of articulation when it comes to the tail. The neck can be moved up and down. So that's pretty cool. 
yeah, this, this is something new. Um, different from the Brachiosaurus, I mean from the previous Takaratomi Brachiosaurus. Alright, gonna show you guys the equivalent from Mattel, okay? Where is our Amagosaurus? Okay, this is the Amagosaurus from Mattel. This is known as the Dewar Attack of Amagosaurus because it has two functions. And if you take a look at the face, they look very similar. It's like, hi mommy! Hello kitty! Yeah, it's like the, the parent of this um, dinosaur. So you can see this Amagosaurus, they are exactly the same. They are just like, you know, a small and a big version. Okay, next up. Okay, I wanted to show you guys um, the Mosasaurus. So let me just quickly show you guys, okay. This one right here, it's actually from the Wave 1. I think this is one of the most well-made Mosasaurus figure from, um, um, I mean, mini figures. One of the best looking mini figures um, that you can find off a Mosasaurus. It's really beautiful. I really love the tail because it's like so long and so, you know, precise. It looks like a blade. And this is definitely inspired by um, the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. And speaking of Mosasaurus from Jurassic World, okay, let me just show you guys, okay? This is a huge one. A huge Mosasaurus and this is actually not the real few Mosasaurus this is actually the ocean protector the ocean protector Mosasaurus with a movable tail how awesome is this okay and this is actually made from I think it's like 20% made from recycled plastic so that's pretty amazing so yep um, I'll place the Mosasaurus right at the back of this table okay Put it right over here. Okay. Oops. This Mosasaurus is like lying sideways. You know, she wants to take a nap. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this Spinosaurus, which is also a brand new one. Okay, you can see three cov I mean three covers. Uh, look, all of them look so amazing. I mean, I definitely prefer um this side because it's like more colorful and this cage reminds me of the packaging from uh, Mattel as well. So let's open this up. Let's get the Spinosaurus out from the box. Okay, one look at this, I think you guys can definitely recognize that this Spinosaurus is actually inspired by the extreme chomping Spinosaurus from the very first wave, okay? So let's take a look at this. In terms of detailing, it is pretty intricate. You can take a look at this. Very intricate details on this figure, okay? Very nicely done, you can feel the texture. There are two points of articulation on the tail. You can move the jaw, so this looks like a ferocious carnivore. I mean, what do you mean that it looks like a ferocious carnivore? It is a ferocious carnivore. Where is the counterpart? The counterpart is right over here. The equivalent from Mattel. This is a beautiful Spinosaurus. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this. This is like all the way back in 2018, I guess. Yeah, the very first, you know, Spinosaurus from Mattel. Looks really nice. Okay, so you can see, here's the mommy, and here is the son or the daughter. <laughs> all right, we're gonna place um, this one right over here, just beneath um, the Kanotaurus, so it looks really good. Alright, next up, we have another one. This is a blue Pteranodon, it's blue in colour, which is pretty cool. So let's open this up, there's a tape right at the side, so we need to cut, cut it open. Okay, so once again, please be really careful if you're using a box cutter, you know, or have your parents to help you if you are a um, young, young, young kid, okay? So let's take a look at this. Looks amazing. This one looks amazing. Wow, the wingspan, the wingspan is actually very, very wide and big, which means, you know, this end from this end, the length of it is actually very, very long, okay? Um, I mean, if you compare it with uh, the pteranodon that we have over here, so you can see the colors are almost identical. I mean, on the box, it looks like it is blue in color, but this is actually like, you know, a bit of like green. 
So let's do the size comparison. I mean, if you can see the proportion, the proportion, this one definitely has a longer wingspan. I mean, if you compare it with the body, okay? But you know, both are equally beautiful. This is the very first Pteranodon from uh, Mattel. Um, it's um, from the Rory Vaw series. So you can actually open the jaw, you can press this button and the wings will flap. And um, there are sounds coming out. I want you guys to let me know whether you guys prefer action figures with sounds or no sounds. To me, for me, I actually prefer the ones with sounds. What about you? Please let me know down below. Okay, our last figure, not our, no, I mean, not exactly the last one. The last one from the new wave is actually this Brachiosaurus. I didn't bring my big Brachiosaurus here because, um, I mean, the only one that we have right now is actually Blaze. Do you guys know who Blaze is? I mean, if you guys have been following me, you would definitely know who Blaze is, okay? Blaze is basically a Brachiosaurus which we have repainted on our own into a level 40 um, Brachiosaurus which is orange um, and red in color. So we, we name it Blaze. One of the dinosaurs actually gave this name uh, to it. You know, thanks, thanks to this dinosaur for giving the beautiful name. So let's take a look at this Brachiosaurus. It looks very, very amazing, okay? The neck can be moved up and down and there are two more points of articulation. And this is like the largest figure from the set. This is definitely worth the money. I mean, I mean, if you compare it to the rest, this is like the biggest, okay? It's really, really beautiful. So the tail can be moved up and down, rotated. It's amazing. I really love this. I really love this. All right, this is a Brachiosaurus. We don't have the equivalent from Mattel at this point of time, but that is fine. Next up, T-Rex. Needs no introduction, the king of the dinosaurs. My most favorite dinosaur, what about you guys? Which is your most favorite dinosaur? Please let me know down below. Okay, so this is a T-Rex, this is Rexy. So you can see the sculpt, um, it looks very similar to the one which you can find in Jurassic World. Of course, it doesn't have the scars. So what is the equivalent? You guys may want me, I mean, you may want me to show you guys um, the epic roaring T-Rex. But we are not. I'm gonna show you the Stomp and Escape um, Dino Escape T-Rex. So this is a Stomp and Escape. It's very, very cool. So once you press this button, it's supposed to like, you know, rip open um, the harness, okay, like this. And um, the tail, if you rotate the tail, the legs will move up and down as if it is walking. So it's very, very cool. Okay, so this is like the stomping action. And this button triggers the escape function. You can see the neck also moves up. So it's really, really amazing stuff. Um, where are we placing this figure? I'm gonna place it right over here. Okay, I think you guys will want me to open up one Camp Cretaceous egg. So let's do it, guys. So let's do it. Okay, guys, I think Let's open up one of these Cam Cretaceous eggs. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay. Hopefully the slime is not too slimy. Slime is not too slimy. That is a quote from Dan. Dan surprise. Let's hope the slime is not too slimy, okay? I'm just going to keep the slime back into this um, egg right over here so that it doesn't flow out and, you know, um, dirty everywhere, the floor and stuff like that. So let's see what else we've got. So do you guys know that um, you know I've been in touch with Toy Monster, and Toy Monster will be sending me a um, a few sets of um, new eggs and stuff, and they are actually coming out with a mega surprise egg, which is really really awesome. So once again, we have got um Pteranodon. So we still can't get our entire set so there you go this is pteranodon all right so take a look at this and it comes with this little card right here and um this little leaflet it comes with a checklist of the different dinosaurs that you'll be getting so i've actually contacted um toy monster and it told me uh, in, in, in my country i'll probably not able to get conotaurus uh, or not able to get charlie and I'm not able to get bumpy because it's not actually not in um, 
in my country. So which is why there's no way we could have um, got the figures even though we bought all of the eggs that are, that are available. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. We have the Colonel Taurus right over here. Okay, so the Colonel Taurus, let's open this up. So what is this? This is Colonel Taurus Toro, yes. Of course, the paint work doesn't really look like um, Colonel Taurus Toro, but you can see it has a scar right on the right hand side of the snout. Okay, so where is the equivalent of Colonel Taurus Toro? Toro. Right over here, um, the control and concur Colonel Taurus Toro, and I think it has it has um, one of the most ferocious walls from the whole Mattel line. Okay, I'll place this right over here, and you can see all our dinosaurs are like falling over, but that's fine. We will do a nice uh, cleanup later on. Okay, next up, what is this? This is an Allosaurus, and this is actually not from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. This is actually from um, um, uh, the Battle at Big Rock. It's actually like a mini movie. So let's take a look at this. All right. So the Allosaurus, you can see it's a beautiful little Allosaurus with like blue tint on the snout. So where is the equivalent? Let me get hold of it. It is right over here, the Allosaurus. So you can see, they look exactly the same in terms of the colors, in terms of the sculpt. I'll place the Allosaurus right at the back. All right, let's move on. Um, Baryonyx, I think it's time for, for me to show you guys the Baryonyx. Okay, Baryonyx is right over here. So if you take a look at the colors over here, it looks more like Baryonyx KRs, but we are not 100% sure. So let's place this aside. Let's take a look at this. So if you take a look at this, this is really beautiful. Um, I love the color scheme. So it comes with a blue splash of paint um, around the eyes. And where is the equivalent? The equivalent is actually right over here, which is a Rorivon. The very first Baryonyx. And I think this Baryonyx is actually one of the best looking when it comes to the color scheme, okay? But there is actually another Baryonyx which was released recently. This is Baryonyx Limbo. That's right. This is Baryonyx Rimbo. Rimbo? <laughs> Baryonyx Limbo. This is actually the Mega Raw Attack. Mega, Mega Raw Attack. Raw Attack Baryonyx. So let's take a look at this. There are actually three different types of raws. Okay, you can see the mouth opens up slightly. Second one, the jaw open up even bigger. And the last one, loudest and longest roar with the mouth open at full height. So this is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. I love this a lot. You can actually rotate the entire tail. Awesome figure. I think this is one of the best. The raw attack are extremely um, cool. All right, I think it's time for us to take a look at the Indoraptor, which is not over here. I've actually left it in the shelves. I left it in my shelf, the Indoraptor shelf, but I've actually brought, you know, the Indoraptor right over here. And this is the grab and growl Indoraptor, which is so amazing. Okay, two functions. And of course, I also brought the new Scorpius Rex to actually show you guys. Okay, the Slash and Battle Scorpius Rex right over here. It comes with two buttons, two at the top. So once you press it, the jaw will just spring right open. Similarly to um, the second button. So once you press it, the arms will actually go into this slashing battle mode. Yeah, really cool figure. So I actually got this from um, Amazon. So if you guys want to buy, you know, one of these um, Scorpius Rex, can go on to Amazon and try to um, find it. All right, next up, we have a Dimorphodon right over here. Okay. So let's get the Dimorphodon out from the box. Okay, Dimorphodon, this is actually a brown version. So, yes. I have brought the closest one 
that you can find from Mattel. So they look kind of similar, but not exactly, um, you know, um, identical. But you can see, I mean, you can see the patterns on the wings are actually very different. So that's Dimorphodon for you. This is right over here. Sorry, the table is in, is in a mess. We need more space. We need more space. I'm gonna put all the boxes onto the floor. Okay, um, next up, um, let's see, what else we've got? A pseudo ceratops. This is also from Battle at Big Rock. So let's take a look at this. Let's get it up from the pack. I like to keep all this, you know, dinosaurs in their original packaging because it actually helps to prevent them from getting damaged. Um, yeah, there you go. Now, Pseudoceratops is actually known as... Oh dear, I can't remember what does the name mean for a Pseudoceratops. Can you guys please let me know? I think it's like a bull or something. Um, okay, let's take a look at this. So this is the equivalent, so you can, you can see they are like exactly the same. Even when it comes to the colors, they look so similar. All right, a pseudoceratops. This is um, what we call this dual attack, I guess. A pseudoceratops. I'll place this right over here. Next up, um, blue. Okay, I think the baby blue is actually in this box. So let's get it out. Okay. So this is blue. There are two blue figures in this pack. I mean, it doesn't belong here. The blue, the baby blue figure, belongs to uh, uh, the Ankylosaurus pack. So let's take a look. This is blue, and this is baby blue. So adorable, baby blue. And where is our equivalent? Our equivalent is actually this blue. Okay, this is a new blue with some revamp on the um, paint scheme. All right, let's move on. I think we are just left with a couple of figures. So let's take a look at this. This it's a um, sticky Moloch. So let's get the sticky Moloch out from the pack. So you can see it looks really cute. And this sticky Moloch should be based on the very first wave. Where is our sticky Moloch figure? Let me try to find it. Okay, what I've brought is actually this Cam Cretaceous sticky Moloch, the Savage Strike sticky Moloch. So let's do a comparison. Okay. Looks pretty cool. I'll put this right at the back where you guys may not be able to see it. It's just right beside um, the Mosasaurus right over here. Um, another figure. Okay, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Baby Blue and Pteranodon. I think the Pteranodon is inside but not Baby Blue because Baby Blue is actually shown to you just a few moments ago. So this is a Pteranodon. I think I have brought another Pteranodon to show you guys, just in case. So this one right here, it's um the sound strike. So it comes with two buttons, two functions. So I really like uh, the both of them. Which one do you guys like more? Sound strike or Rorivo? Rorivo is the very first wave. I think sound strike is better. What do you guys think? Okay, next up, we have, you know, one of the most favorite dinosaurs from, you know, everybody, Bumpy. Okay, so right over here, we have, we have a small Bumpy and a um, adult Bumpy. So if you guys do not know, Bumpy is actually um, the Ankylosaurus in um, Camp Cretaceous, which was like a little pet of um, Ben. So Ben became really good friends with um, Bumpy. And um, this was Bumpy when, you know, Bumpy was really young. So just take a look at how adorable this is. And this is the adult Bumpy, you know, who, who grew up to be, become really brave and um, strong. Okay, I've actually brought you the equivalent from Mattel to do a comparison. So this is like baby Bumpy from Mattel, okay? And baby Bumpy from Takara Tomi. I would say, the baby bumpy from Takara told me actually looks better. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And of course, we have also brought an, an adult bumpy. But this is actually not exactly bumpy. This is actually the um, Ankylosaurus from Rory Ball Wave 1. It's, 
the batteries are no longer working so I, I need to replace them okay so I'll place this right over here right at the end the corner of the table and let's move on Indominus Rex how cool is this everyone's favorite hybrid I'm not too sure about you guys but it is my most favorite hybrid I mean there are three hybrids so far from you know the movies you have the Indominus Rex, you have Indoraptor, you have um, Scorpius Rex. Which one is the most favorite hybrid? Please let me know, okay? Um, so this is the Indominus Rex. Really beautiful figure. And of course the equivalent is this Grab and Growl um, Indoraptor. Indoraptor. Destroy and Devour. Indominus Rex, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I know you guys will make fun of me in the comments when I mention something wrong. So this is the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex, you know, against our beautiful Dino Basement Dino Dungeon shelf right over here, okay? Oh yes, which, which shelf do you guys like the most? Basement Dino Dungeon, Level 1 Gallery, Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands, or Level 3 Colossus? Let me know down below. There will be a new shelf coming soon. I, I'm, I'm telling you that, okay? I'm telling you that. There will be another shelf coming soon. Alright, let's move on to our last figure of the day, okay? So let's take a look at this. This is actually a Conotaurus. Um, the color scheme... It looks very weird. I don't think this sculpt is actually based on um, the Carnotaurus from um, Jurassic World because this color scheme is... Uh, I've not seen this color scheme in any of the movies before so it's really weird. Oh, there's a missing piece. It's right over here. So we have a Carnotaurus which is missing a part of its tail. So let's put it right back for it. Let's fix the tail for this Carnotaurus. Alright, your tail is fixed, so you should be happier now. So this is a Conotaurus from the very first... Oh my goodness, it came off again. It is so flimsy. Okay, so come on, please stay in there. Alright, so this is Conotaurus. And um, the equivalent, I've actually brought um, the normal. The normal control and concur Conotaurus. So you can see the colors. Okay, I would say they are exactly the same. This is like more orangey and this is like more reddish and brownish. So control and concur Conotaurus, which is, um, you know, just a different paint scheme um, to the Conotaurus Toro from Camp Cretaceous. And it doesn't have the scar on the right hand side of the snot. Okay, so awesome stuff. Thanks for watching this. I've basically shown you guys the latest Takara Tomi, you know, action figures. If you guys like it, do give it a thumbs up and let me know which one is the most favorite hybrid, okay? Which one is the most favorite hybrid? Indominus Rex, Indoraptor, or Scorpius Rex. And Saturday's video is gonna be epic as well because there'll be plenty of new figures to unbox. Yep. So thanks for watching this guys and I will see you in the next video on Saturday. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to Dan Surprise Extra and Dan Surprise Animals for more content from, from me. And make sure you subscribe, share this video, like it and I'll, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye. Okay guys, so I've thought maybe I should show you some of the behind the scenes of how I actually do a thumbnail for my video. So check this out so I mean you should see this on the thumbnail so I basically lay um, almost every single one of this um, dinosaurs on the table and I'll put a tripod right over here and I just take a photo of it but take a look at the floor this is like really messy there are like boxes everywhere so normally after I take a thumbnail I would just pack up all these figures or put them into this box and I'll head over to level 2 Jurassic World Midlands and place them all back in. You know, until Saturday, I, I will just, you know, find new dinosaurs to make videos again. Okay, so this is normally how I created the thumbnail. So it's usually chaotic, it's usually very messy after a video. So I, I need to spend like, probably like 30 to 60 minutes just to clean all this up for every single video, okay? probably an hour or so 
So coming up next, um, in the next video, I'll be unboxing this. Oh my goodness, I totally forgotten that, you know, we should unbox this in this video. Um, this is basically like a Takara Tomi set. Yes. And um, not too sure whether you guys have already seen this, this baby Konotaurus. So um, we have a new um, the Splitosaurus right inside this box. So I got this from Safari LTD. So we will be unboxing this one as well. So stay tuned for Saturday's video. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.